guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are back with another book review because I'm going to be reviewing my most recent read which is Verity by Colleen Hoover. Y'all, I think I'm gonna make it a series where I just review like Colleen Hoover's books because currently she's like my favorite author ever and she seriously is no joke, she's amazing. So I feel like I'm just gonna read every single one of her novels and just like post videos about them here. Um, so look forward to that. So as you guys probably know, I just recently came back from Cuba. Um, I'm, I still really, really miss it and I really wanna go back, but I. I had an amazing time. I was in Cuba for a week and one thing I made sure to do before I left to go um, on vacation was to buy a book and I really wanted a Colleen Hoover book. Something to just keep me entertained. I mean obviously you, you don't need a book to be entertained in Cuba. I mean like you just need yourself and the water and you're fine but uh, I really wanted to because I spend most of my time in Cuba at the beach. The beach is gorgeous and so I really wanted a good book in my hand to just like read and like sunbathe and just you know really enjoy it and get the full experience and I seriously couldn't have chosen a better book because oh my god it was so good I am so excited to talk about this book so without any further ado before we get started make sure you guys subscribe and hit that bell so that you're always notified and updated for book reviews like this and other cool fun content we are almost at 5,000 subscribers, which is crazy. So help us get there and join this amazing book family. And yeah, um, also let me know down below any other book reviews you'd like to see, any other books you'd like me to read, because I love talking to you guys about everything and anything about books. Okay, so this is Verity by Colleen Hoover. Um, I recently got this book and it, like I bought it literally the day after this new edition came out. Um, this is not how the original novel looks like when it was first published. It looks like this. Um, it's like a black uh, cover and it's still really, really cute. But since it was released a few years ago, she decided to like update it and give it a new look. And she like decided to do this like golden vibe and I'm obsessed. Um, and it's hardcover, which I love. I love hardcover books. At the front here, it says Verity in this like very pretty cursive writing. Um, and then it has here a very interesting graphic. Um, so yeah, until I finished the book, I had no idea why it was called Verity, what this like very interesting um, picture this was. Like you really just don't get anything until you finish the book. So I don't wanna spoil anything for you guys, no spoilers, but it's called Verity and this is what is at the front. So since this is a new addition to the original novel, you actually get an exclusive new chapter. Um, so I have no idea if that's the last chapter or a chapter in the middle. It actually doesn't really state which one it is because I never read the original version. I just picked this one up and read it. But um, yeah, so that's cool. You get a new chapter and of course it says Colleen Hoover and you have like the reflection of this graphic down here very mysterious and then at the back you have the queen herself her majesty um praise her uh this is colleen hoover she is a genius mastermind and i love her and also she should pay for my therapy thank you very much so there is the cover as much as i love it i do however have like one thing i'm not a big fan of which is like the feeling of it i can't really explain it and i don't know if i'm the only one but i'm not a really big fan of like the text like the feeling of this um cover like i don't know if you guys can even see but like in the reflection you can see like my fingerprints and it looks dirty and i don't really know it's just something weird about it it feels very dry to the hands as well like uh, here's an example of another one of my hardcover books and this um cover is very sleek and it doesn't feel the same you can't see fingerprints on it and stuff you know so that's just one thing but it's a very little thing Okay, so I'm going to give you like a quick little summary of what the book is about. I'm not going to spoil anything, don't worry. Um, I'm just going to give you kind of like an idea of what the book is about. It's just literally what's written in here. You follow this woman named Lowen Ashley, I believe is her name, and the book is written in first person. So Lowen is the one narrating the whole book. So you're really into her brain and her thoughts. Um, and she's a writer, but she's going through like a writer's block. I guess is what they call it um basically her books are not selling she's not very well known and you know she's having some financial trouble like she's really going through it um 
and somehow she meets this guy named Jeremy Crawford. Uh, you will figure out more about him and how she meets him and everything. Um, but his wife is one of the most famous authors and her name is Verity Crawford. But Verity is currently injured and cannot finish one of her well-known book series. So they ask, like her team asks Lowen to finish it for her. Um, basically finish writing the last few books. And that's literally all I'm gonna say. Um, but basically a lot of secrets are spilled, lots of twists and turns. Um, lots of stuff is revealed basically what this book is it's a grand mystery so like everything is just completely turned in the end of the book and um, you just really find out a lot about each one of the characters um, you just find out a lot and a lot of background and just oof, it's crazy um, literally when you think like the last twist in this book happens, another one happens, and it's it's just crazy. It's, it's a crazy book. So, to give you a better idea of more of what this book is about, I'm going to read a part of this um, inside of the cover. Um, so, this is just a more detailed summary than what I gave you. Lowen arrives at the Crawford home, ready to sort through years of Verity's notes and outlines, hoping to find enough material to get her started on writing the, series, the rest of the series. What Lowen doesn't expect to uncover in the chaotic office is an unfinished autobiography Verity never intended for anyone to read. Page after page of bone-chilling admissions, including Verity's recollection of the night her family was forever altered. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, so good, so good. Oh my gosh, the moment one of you guys reads this book, please, please message me on Instagram and we need to rant about this book. Okay, so this book is definitely also very mature. Um, it's actually more mature than I thought before I started reading the book. And um, Colleen Hoover is known to be like a writer of like young adult books and even like adults, like, um, so not really for kids. I definitely wouldn't recommend it to anybody under the age of like 15. I mean, that doesn't mean you can't, but I personally just wouldn't recommend it. I say 15 to 16 year olds and up because it's, yeah, it's it's a book not really meant for like a 13 year old. So I would recommend this book to anybody who loves mystery. Um, oh my gosh, I'm a huge fan of mystery. So if you love that kind of stuff, um, thriller, like this book is very thriller-like. Also, there's a little bit of romance. Actually, there's a lot of romance in it. So it's weird how the combination works. Um, but also just if you like dark books and dark Dark, like stories this is the one for you so I got my copy actually at Walmart uh, I just walked in looking for a, a book a Colleen Hoover book and I actually found a, a bunch of hers including this one of course um, so you know if you want to get it just walk into your local Walmart see if there if it's there um, if not I'm sure you can get it on Amazon uh, indigo also check out her website she has her own website and i'm sure i think she sells her books obviously so um if you guys want to buy it online i will leave a bunch of links to a bunch of different uh stores and websites and go check it out definitely worth buying and lastly what is my book rating and i am very happy to say that this book for me is a 10 out of 10 before this book, I've only read uh, It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover and I thought that book was just amazing and I gave it a 9 out of 10. But this one I love even more. I just cannot explain. But it like tickled every single part of my brain and it just, oof, it like, oh my gosh, there was so many twists and turns and mysteries and secrets. But then there was also some cute romance and like love in the air and also some like very scary moments where you're like really scared of the book like sometimes I just had to put it down go swim at the beach like I was I definitely recommend reading this book at the beach like if you have the opportunity to do that please do it I couldn't have chosen a better book for that like with the waves and reading this book bone chilling bone chilling well that you guys is my book review on Verity by Colleen Hoover. Like I said, for me it's a 10 out of 10. Like I just love books like this where you really do not know what's next. And of course I love myself some romance, but I also love some, you know, mystery. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please buy the book. I love it so much and I want you to love it as well. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next book review. But 
also i'll see you in my next normal video and uh yeah let me know down below which queen hoover book i should write next all right see you guys